two, one, you got? Hola. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> My clothes messed up, so I didn't come out right. <laughs> Welcome to Telemundo. Today, we're going to make a uh, Mexican snack. Tradition that we use, uh, we cook it for holidays. It's called Buñuelos. Normally, the grandma, the great grandmas, they would make the moms, would make, it, make the dough. But we're going to cheat because we ain't got time for that. And it's 2021. So what we're going to use is these raw tortillas, flour tortillas. They have to be flour. They can't be corn. They're raw. They're not cooked yet. All right? So what you're going to need is these tortillas, hot oil, or anything to, to uh, let the oil uh, uh, come down to get less oil on the tortilla. And you're going to need a mixture of sugar and cinnamon. Oh, Ooh, look at that. Mm. All right. So first you want all oh, some of these. Oh. Put on silent. Somebody was excited about the bonuelos. Yeah, they already gave, uh, called and gave my orders in. What you want to do, you see? They're raw. Okay? They're not cooked yet. So what you're going to do, be careful. Make sure you have your stuff help you with this. You put the tortilla in the hot oil. Just like that. Okay, you're going to fry it. It's going to bubble up like that, but it's okay. Just gonna let it fry on one side for a little bit. You can pop these holes if you want. Or not. Or not. <laughs> Stubborn holes. Want to get a little brown on one side? So we're doing the Cinco de Mayo video early. Well, this is gonna be actually for Cinco de Mayo uh, because I don't think we're gonna have time for it later on in the week. Right. Yeah. And just in case they want to, you know, go out shopping and yeah. get the stuff. Maybe for Cinco de Mayo we'll do another video. Absolutely. Well, she did taco this Tuesday taco day. Oh, okay. We'll have to do a taco Tuesday before taco Cinco. Tuesday. We'll have Tina make her famous tacos. I don't know. I, won't. I was almost about to scroll over to her. I won't do it. Right. Want to turn it to the other side? Oh. Beautiful golden brown. Yeah, you want to get them nice and crispy. Almost like a tostada. Mm, somebody sounds excited in the background. Yeah, Is there a particular size tortilla you like to use? No, this is a good, good, good size right here. Okay. As long as they're flour. Okay. That's what's most important. Yeah. But uh, with these, we, we, uh, we always make them um, around Christmas and New Year's. This is what we make. My grandma would make stacks of these. We just eat them all day and be hyper with all the sugar. <laughs> Send you home to mama. Yeah. See how it's crispy? Listen to that. Almost done. Just let it crisp. 
Any kind of vegetable oil or anything like that? No, any oil will do. Okay. As long as it's not olive oil. Right, you get that flavor with yeah, that. Yeah, you don't want to do olive oil. But any oil will do. You really want to feel unhealthy, you can use lard. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, hello. Yeah, it'd be all bad. A little bacon flavored uh, bonuelos. Yeah. Anusha's singing a traditional uh, Mexican uh, song that they sing in the old country. <laughs> <laughs> Putting the packets together for you guys. We're doing a little leaf printing. So we're going to do a video after this. Got Tina putting it together over here for doing some leaf printing and everything. Oh, got both sides looking good. Yeah. Almost there. Trying to get all the whole edge, huh? Yeah. Got a little corner over here that's not uh not quite crisp. Do you ever put anything with it? Like ice cream or anything like that? Or? You can. Okay, yeah. A lot. Of, sometimes we like uh, um, cut them into like uh, like potato chips, like square uh, uh, triangles. Yeah. And just stack them, and then put like vanilla ice cream on top. Yeah, that sounds good. You see, this, this one's done. You want to take some of that oil off of it? And you put it here. Let it. So that it can drain a little bit. It's easier to stand it up, but it's not cooperating. Just leave it right there. So that, oh, then what you do, you get your uh, uh, sugar and your uh, uh, cinnamon, and you put it on top. Okay, then you get it. Flip it around. Do the same thing. Put as much as you want. If you're diabetic, I don't suggest it. <laughs> but if you're not, have at it. A little Splenda sprinkle for the diabetics. Yeah, put some Splenda, some Equal. And you just... Well, you kind of got the picture. <laughs> that is refusing to stand up. So there's that one. Should I make another one? Uh, or we good? I think we're good. All right, so there, folks, is a Bunuelo. Bunuelo. Boom. Mm. So that's all. It's very simple. Does that so, mean anything? The word bunuelo or no? I don't know. Okay. It might mean something. Okay. I don't know what it is. All right. So anybody want to taste test? I'll taste test. All right. Here we go, Troy. All right. Oh, you hear that crunch? Flaky. Yeah. Mmm. You know what it reminds me of is those um, Taco Bell crisp things. You can just say Smith's Taco Bell with it's, something traditional. Uh, oh, I'm, well, what? I, it's 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 a similar. Yeah, I'll quit. Oh man, I guess video's over, guys. <laughs> See y'all next time. Talk to my agent.